Hi everyone! This video is to give you a few tips on how to best moderate Design Summit sessions at the OpenStack Summit in Austin. First, a few tips on time management. Sessions are only 40 minutes long, so it's very important that you start on time. Just close the door and start your session. It's also very important that you end on time and free the room for the next session. So if you have a, session, a discussion in, in progress, just move to the hallway and continue the discussion there. Have someone track the time for you. With five minutes remaining, try to document conclusions and next actions. Another tip about uh, time management. If you have several topics or related that are related or subtopics, make sure you track the time as you go along. Avoid digressions, but be ready to cut topics when current topics have more debate going on than you would plan for. So try to remember <clears throat> for time management purposes that not everyone can respond very quickly and may want a few moments to think um, as an extrovert and someone who tends to impulsively jump in. I want to remind myself of that as well give people a chance to respond thoughtfully, allow for pauses, it's okay. Document management, from stone tablets to etherpad. Have someone take notes in the etherpad, your attention should be on the room and the conversation. Have someone manage the projected etherpad so that it stays with the topic instead of focusing on something that you finished long ago. Make sure decisions and action items are specifically noted in the etherpad with names and contact information for those responsible for the action. You will forget two weeks later. Review it and write a summary as soon as possible after the session. Also for document management, try to publish the results in a summary email to one of the mailing lists where people who may not be able to make it to the summit could take a look make sure they understand. If you also find any gaps in the notes or extraneous details, it helps you to write that summary email and just try to make sure that you convey particularly important um, decisions that were made at a summit session. Next up is space management. In the workrooms and meetups, there are many whiteboards and flip charts make sure you use them to have an active and dynamic discussions. In fishbowl rooms, which are our bigger rooms with chairs organized in semicircles, uh, you should encourage people to gather in front. Um, you should not encourage people to yell from the back of the room because it will disrupt the discussion. Use microphones only as a last resort because it, they will prevent direct discussions from happening. Also for collaboration, I think it's important to try to make sure that you introduce yourself. Don't assume everyone knows you. I've seen this and I've had other people report it to me. Try to make sure people know who you are, your name, your project role, the project you're most working on, and don't make an assumption, otherwise it makes us all look like insiders, and I don't believe that's the case. You should not deliver prepared presentations. This is not a speaker to audience presentation. It's an open discussion. So just set the stage, explain the topic that will be discussed, and then just let the discussion happen. If you need to prepare one or two slides to set the stage, then why not, but it's not a traditional speaker to audience presentation with presentation slides. And then also related to collaboration, real time in-person collaboration means that you need to make it safe for people to speak their minds and take turns. If you see signs of discomfort, privately check with other people in the room to see if you can amend or redirect that energy. Um, as an example, if you have someone who interrupts a lot, try to get help ahead of time who can check that behavior if you need um, assistance so you're not distracted by it so that you can continue the session. And 
remember there should be hall monitors available if you need help with safety in any particular session. Follow up with the people who volunteered on action items a week to two weeks after the conference. This gives them time to recover, have returned from vacation, and caught up on their work. Another topic is focus. State the problem clearly before you start discussion of any potential solutions. Have the etherpad ready ahead of the conference, filled out with your expected contents, what you'll be discussing, and advertise its availability for people to put comments on it, and also make sure that those people put their names with the comments. Hi, try to discuss items as much as possible before the summit, so that during the summit, you can concentrate on items that need to be resolved in person rather than um, going through things uh, that can e be easily dealt with in a specification or a code review. Disaster recovery, or maybe some disaster planning so that you don't have to recover from it. Plan for the worst, expect the best, and enjoy the ride. Plan for Etherpad to be unresponsive. It has happened before. Have a backup method for taking notes with a copy of the Etherpad when you started. Actually, plan for all technology failures. Be ready to modify your session to accommodate whatever may happen. All right, that is all. Thank you for watching and see you in Austin.